So are you looking to coast into some cash? Well, if you are, stick with me because I'm going to show you how to do it with your desktop laser. Let's jump into this together. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use your ortho laser to create coasters. Now, you might be saying, Mr. DIY3DTech.com, coasters out of cardboard? You betcha. So one of the things I started doing around the shop was using the knockouts from a lot of the projects that were around as coasters for my pop or iced coffee, etc., to keep uh, them from sweating on the benches. And so with that, I got thinking, why don't I do up something cool do a couple different ways instead of having just a blank why don't we put something on there and I can share the process with you guys and you can take it and make some money with it hey good idea right well here's some examples of what I've done now one of the pieces I'm going to share some Inkscape tutorials in the near future on how to do this right now I'm more so talking about the idea of coasters customized coasters and different methodologies for making those coasters so let's jump into this so first off I put a map on the coaster so I live in the greater Port Huron area and uh, it's kind of neat you have Port Huron you have Sarnia you have Lake Huron you have the St. Clair River and it creates a nice image now unfortunately these turned out a little bit dark on the camera so I don't know if you can really see them but in real life they turned out actually pretty cool they look like leather now what I did is I engraved the map onto the circle and then cut the circle out so I made the map into a circle I took it from Google Maps and again I'll have an escape tutorial in the near future because I want to do several different projects with regards to uh, taking you know uh, objects from the internet maps etc and turning them in escape to something productive such as this so what I did is I just for these took cardboard and uh, just regular cardboard I etched on the map which was pretty cool and then I covered them with a gloss urethane actually two coats so it came out really pretty cool and it really looks like leather now the idea behind that is the urethane is going to make these last longer now again if you were going to do these for a restaurant you know say you have a local restaurant you could actually put their logo on here all kinds of cool stuff reuse your Amazon boxes again great use for you know green initiatives and because I really love the idea of this cardboard recycling which I've been working on so with that um, again you can up the game by putting polyurethane you don't have to again if you're just going to dispose of these rather quickly now the polyurethane will make these last longer again with these two coats but now it is a little bit more expensive and a little bit not so green um, so the other option that I tried was I painted it white now one of the things I'm going to warn you right up front these are visible light lasers anything white is going to reflect a lot of light so have quality safety glasses uh, as I've covered in another video and be very careful with this guy now this turned out actually pretty cool I had to do a little bit of tuning so for the regular map over here I ran it at uh, 40 millimeters a second with um, 50% laser intensity and then for the cutout I ran at 8 millimeters a second seven passes with a G8 lens on a 3 millimeter pretty sturdy cardboard this isn't the cheap Chinese cardboard this is higher quality cardboard uh, now with the white I actually had to up it so I stayed at 40 I upped it to 70 percent and I probably need to up it a little bit more 80 percent would not hurt uh, on this now the other piece that I would suggest doing is once uh, this is cut take some compressed air blow the ashes off of it or else you'll kind of smoosh the ashes into the white but I'm really excited with the way this came out now also uh, increase your cut by one more pass to make this a clean cut out because what you're basically doing is your first cut first one or two cuts on the white uh, be, are going to be reflected the majority is going to be reflected till it makes that first burn through and again if you're doing the etch and you're only doing one pass what you're going to have to do is throw a little bit more power to get that etch because you can kind of see some of the weaker spots in here maybe that didn't totally come through but the idea is really really interesting so I'm going to experiment with this on different projects now again you can use different color paints however 
Uh, you know, obviously the darker paint, the easier it is going to be to burn off. Uh, the white, I thought, gave me an interesting contrast. And so I'm going to be doing some more experiments with this and other colors in the near future. But I really wanted to get this out for you guys because, again, we're coming up to the holiday season. And I think this is a great way to use your laser to make some extra cash. Is Again, you may have local restaurants that have a green theme and, you know, making coasters for them. Now, if you're doing a detailed map like this, this takes quite a while. And so it might not be the most cost effective because there is a lot of surface area in these lines for these maps. However, if you cut it down to a, a simplified logo or some text, it should run much quicker. And one of the other things, if you're going to use this for a business, I would suggest getting the 20 watt, i.e. 20 watt input version rather than the 15 because you'll be able to move faster with a higher power and make less passes to cut these out because again to do two of these it was about eight minutes four minutes a piece and again i think with the 20 watt and a simplified you can get it down to a couple minutes a piece put a big piece of cardboard in there and just keep blowing them out blowing them out blowing them out the other piece i would suggest using if you're going to do this commercially is air assist i'm working on a new version of air assist for my system so i did not use them here uh, and it takes longer without air assist, especially on the cut of cardboard. So hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. Uh, subscribe is going to be down there. And we'll catch you in the next video where we design something else cool out of cardboard and make it on the laser. Watch out for those Inkscape tutorials too. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.